Economic growth is the gross domestic product which is the total of value of consumption or expenditure or output produced in a country in a given year. Methods of calculating GDP 1. The output method measures GDP by adding up the output produced by all industries in the country. Output must not be counted twice for example the output of the car industry includes the output of the steel and tire industries also. To avoid this, only the added value will be included in the calculation of GDP. 2. The income method measures all incomes which have been earned in producing the country's output. This income earned does not include the returns of domestic factors of production, like labor, deployed outside of the country. 3. The expenditure method measures all the expenditure on the country's finished output. These expenditure include consumers, firms and government spending as well as the net amount from exports less imports. The GDP of a country can be reported in different ways. 1. Nominal GDP. GDP is valued in terms of current prices. It does not take into account inflation and therefore may overestimate changes in output. 2. Real GDP. GDP is valued in real terms and the effect of inflation has been removed. 3. GDP per capita measures the average income per head or per person. A recession is a period of negative economic growth at the trough of the trade cycle. A recession is usually defined as two consecutive quarters of negative economic growth. Economic growth cycles Economic boom or peak Aggregate demand sales and profits peak. There is low unemployment or even a shortage of labor. There may be rising inflation as aggregate demand exceeds aggregate supply. With rising inflation, consumer confidence and spending may eventually begin to decline. Economic recession or downturn. There is a slowdown in economic activity. Demand for goods and services fall. Sales of firms decline. Firms cut back production and workers are made redundant. Economic recovery or upturn, business and consumer confidence starts to recover. Spending begins to rise, as does sales and profits for firms. Output levels start to increase and firms begin to employ more workers. Causes of economic growth. Discovery of more natural resources. More resources mean increasing the production capacity or potential of a country. The discovery of oil and gas reserves have enabled a lot of economies to grow rapidly as it increased the country's potential. Investment in new capital and infrastructure, investment on new machinery, buildings, Technology has enabled firms and economies to expand their production capacities. Investments in modern infrastructure such as airports, roads and harbors have improved access and communication in an economy, helping in quicker and efficient production. Technical progress, new inventions or production processes can increase the productivity of existing resources in industries and help boost economic growth. Four, increasing the amount and quality of human resources, a larger and more productive workforce will increase GDP. More skilled, knowledgeable and productive human resources thus help increase economic growth. Five, reallocating resources, moving resources from less productive uses to more productive uses will improve economic growth. The Benefits of Economic Growth 1. Greater availability of goods and services to satisfy consumer wants and needs. 2. 
increased employment opportunities and incomes. 3. Increased sales, profits and business opportunities. 4. Low and stable inflation, if growth in output matched growth in demand. 5. Increased tax revenue for government, owing to rising incomes and spending. This tax revenue can be invested in better public services. 6. Improved living standards and economic welfare. The setbacks of economic growth. Economic growth is not all good. There are undesirable effects to economic growth. 1. Technical progress may replace employees and cause a rise in unemployment. 2. Scarce resources are used up rapidly when production rises. Natural resources may get depleted over time. 3. Increasing production can increase negative externalities such as pollution, deforestation, health problems, etc. 4. Inflation can rise if growth in demand exceeds growth in output, 